somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts on Picnic Hill. Honeybees! Ah, I do love a good picnic. Yes, nothing beats eating in the great outdoors. Sandwich, Mrs Elf? Thank you, Queen Thistle. Sandwich, darling? Mmm, yummy! Honey sandwiches, my favourite. Ah, buzz off! Go away! <laughs> Daddy, they're only bees. Well, I don't like them. They're good for nothing. Good for nothing? The honey in your sandwich comes from bees. No, it doesn't. Honey comes from a jar. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Didn't you go to school, dear? Yes, King School. We learned to wave. <laughs> Ben's right, King Thistle. Bees do make honey. Really? How do they do that, then? It all starts with a flower. The bees eat sweet nectar from the flower. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. When they've eaten lots of nectar, they take it back to make honey in the beehive. I'd love to see the beehive. I'll take you there if you like. Good idea, Mr Elf. And while you're at it, can you get me some more honey? Of course, Your Majesty. We'll bring you back a nice fresh jar of honey. Mr Elf, how many bees live in the hive? Oh, there are thousands of bees in a hive. Thousands? Wow! They must make a right old racket. Oh, yes. Get ready for the loud buzzing. It will be very noisy indeed. Oh, it's very quiet. Wise old elf, where are all the bees? They've gone. Gone? gone? Yes, flown off. We're waiting to see if they come back. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive. And I'm the beekeeper. We need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. Oh. So what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. Oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf, the bees! Ugh. Why doesn't he say what he means? <laughs> eh, 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 what, what happened? Right, so just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. So now, do you go in and get the honey? Not quite yet. We need a fail-safe. A fail-safe? What's that? Extra safety in case our first safety measure fails. Watch this. It's very clever. 
What's he doing, Nanny? Goodness knows. It'll probably be stupid, but funny. Ta-da! Told you. He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. Lift me up. Lifting. Bees asleep. Check. Bee costume on. Check. Jar for honey. Check. Go, go, go. Now, watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> the bees are waking up. Come on, wise old elf. Hurry up. There we are. Done. Calm, safe and sensible. Eh? Ah, nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up! Buzz, buzz, buzz! Pull me up! Mission accomplished! Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following him. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look! There's loads more of them! Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Hold on! We're almost at the little castle. Thank goodness! The window's open! Hmm. Bit of a draft in here. Let's close the window. Yeah! Goodness me! Wise old elf, what are you... Ah! My jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in. What are you playing at? Shh. What's going on? Bees. Bees. Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees, too. But it turns out they're quite useful. Shush. Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. Well, I don't want them on my castle. Shh! If the bees notice us, they'll follow me again. Oh, I see. Well, why didn't you say so? Hello, bees. He's over here. Cooey. Ah! Get me out of here. Don't worry, wise old elf. I've got you. Wait! What about my honey? They're getting closer! Try to shake them off! My toe! Hang on! Ah! Oh! Out! Oh! Ah! I'll try going lower! Aren't we a bit near the... <laughs> and... There's the Queen Bee! I mean the wise old elf! Queen 
And that is how you get a jar of honey. Calm, safe, and sensible. <gasps> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a beekeeper in his underpants before? Calm, safe, and sensible. Yes, exactly. It's all quite easy when you're an expert beekeeper like me. In that case, can you fetch me a jar of honey too? No! At least, perhaps not today. 